Today on Pots and Trials we're talking lupins and that's brought to you with the support of Cobra Garden and Dalak. Hello and welcome to Pots and Trials. Well today I'm going to show you what to do with lupins because if you've got lupins growing in your garden the chances are now they will look something like this. A few weeks ago these were absolutely full of colour, big long spires of flowers and this is a variety, these are just a few of the ones that are remaining on this one. This is a variety called Masterpiece which is a hybrid one, it isn't grown from seed, it tends to be grown from cuttings that are taken from new, new shoots that develop in the spring from the base of the plant rooted and then grown for the summer and planted out in the autumn and in fact here there are five lupin plants in this patch here which I planted late last summer early autumn into really good soil it was well prepared and as you can see they've done really well I've not counted them but they they must be I don't know 70 or 80 spires um, of uh, flowers that we've had on there so now is the time to do something with them because if we leave them like that <clears throat> not only don't they look particularly good but all the plants energy is going to go into producing seed and you can see where the flowers were now we've got so so many pods on there lupins of course are members of the pea family the legume family so they just look like peas and in fact if I take one off and open it up we'll see that they're just starting to form in there um, I can't get into it so there we are they're just starting to form the little peas inside the pod so we don't want the plant to use all its energy producing those we want it to put it back into the plant and if we cut them down now the chances are we will get a second flush and more flowers later on in the season so it's really simple all you need is a pair of secateurs and what we're going to do is just cut down the old flowering stalks either to ground level or in this case I've got a flower there but what I'm going to do actually with that one as you can see this one is going over and in this heat this will be gone in a week so I'm going to trace this flower stalk back down quite low and it's just a case of getting each flower stalk cutting it down where possible cut it down to a leaf joint like that so what will happen is this little shoot that's growing in the leaf joint just there will grow and that will then produce some more for us so I've got quite a lot to cut off so I'm just going to make my way around here cutting them all off and then just to finish off I'm going to give it a, a good drink so that we can get them growing again and it's amazing how fast they will put some growth on So they go all cut down so we've got rid of all these old flower heads and got them before too many seeds actually develop in the pods so as we can see we've got lots of lovely healthy green foliage here and we've actually got one or two flower spikes already started there's one here and this is what will happen now all over this clump of plants it's hard to believe there's only five plants in this clump but you can see this here has already started to make a bud so now we've got rid of everything else all the energy will go into new growth and buds you'll notice I have left two and although this particular variety masterpiece is grown from cuttings and um, they are hybrids I'm just going to save a few seeds just to see they won't come true to type but they will be probably similar I'll probably get some darker ones out of it so it's just a bit of an experiment really so I'm going to leave these on for another two or three weeks and by then the the seeds will have developed in them the pods will go black and just before hopefully Hopefully they burst over and drop the seeds I'll get them off and we can sow those straight away to get plants that would be ready to plant in the garden in the autumn so the final thing to do with this is give them a drink we've had some really warm weather so just to give them a bit of a boost it's worth giving them um, a drink you could put a little bit of a liquid feed in there if you want uh, and I'm just going to give them a, a good soak around the root balls of each one so that hopefully within a week or so we'll start to see nice new growth and as I say in in a month's time we shall have more flowers to look at
Well, thank you for watching Pots and Trials. And remember, you can find all the gardening videos that we've done on YouTube and on Facebook. Just search for Pots and Trials. Next week, we're going to be having a look at a hosta collection. So we'll see you then. Bye.